Hello guys, welcome back to the Brutal Investor channel. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. So in this video, we're going to cover Novo's network because Binance, um, if you guys don't know already, has listed uh, Novo's network uh, uh, on Binance today. And uh, in this video, we're going to talk about uh, what this network is, what it aims to do and what are some of the price potential uh, potential for this token, right? So basically Binance uh, uh, listed today uh, stating that Binance will list uh, Novo's network CBK and open trading for CBK slash PTC, CBK slash BUSD and CBK slash USD Tether trading pairs. Uh, users can now start depositing CBK in preparation for trading, right? So what is Novo's network? The Novo's network is an open source public blockchain ecosystem and collection of protocols with the Novos CKB. So CKB basically stands for Common Knowledge Base as the layer one proof of work public blockchain protocol of the Novos network. The CKB token is the network's native token and represents rights to occupy state storage on the network. CKB is also used as payment uh, for block rewards, transaction fees, and to earn staking rewards via the Novos DAO. So, what Novos Network basically is, it is an uh, uh, obviously an open source public blockchain uh, ecosystem that that contains uh, a collection of protocols uh, with the Novos CKB common knowledge base as its layer one network. Uh, it works on a proof of work public blockchain, which is quite interesting for um, for a project because uh, usually. Uh, all new projects uh, tend to move towards proof of stake system, but uh, it's uh, interesting how Novo's network, uh, you know, has still, uh, you know, used proof of work as its main, uh, uh, you know, mechanism of consensus. The CKB token is the network's native token, obviously, and represents rights to occupy state storage on the network. So you, if you hold CKB, you would be uh, able to have the right to occupy state storage on the network. CKB is also used as a payment for block rewards. Again, just like uh, Ethereum, uh, it's used for paying transaction fees, again, just like Ethereum, and to earn staking rewards via Novo's DAO. So you can also use CKB token to earn rewards, uh, earn staking rewards, right? So uh, basically, if you look at the, um, the website for Novo's, they have a pretty cool website. So basically, they state that uh, you know they, their catch line is uh, your universal passport to blockchain. Um, they have a pretty cool video. I suggest people to watch uh, watch this video if you guys want to do more uh, research on Novo's network. It's a pretty fun video. It does. It's not very informatic, uh, but uh, it is a pretty interesting uh, you know funny video that they've uh, chosen to represent uh, their token. Um, so again, um, if you if you read through what they're saying, a journey through the blockchain ecosystem will probably uh, leave you grounded on one particular project. You might have come to accept that this is, this is a one horse race uh, to be the only blockchain solution, but it is not. Obviously, what they're uh, trying to uh, achieve is to, you know, um, try to be this uh, project which uh, addresses, you know, all the uh, interoperability issue that all blockchains currently have. Uh, most of the blockchains, uh, including the famous ones such as Bitcoin and Ethereum, have their own network and uh, they don't really uh, interact well with other blockchains. Uh, that's something that uh, you know m many of the uh, current blockchain systems have in common, but there are uh, recent projects that have uh, tried to make uh, you know uh, their blockchain more interoperable so that they can interact with either the Ethereum network or some of the projects aim to interact with the Bitcoin network itself in order to leverage some of the, uh, you know, uh, liquidity and, you know, uh, market cap of uh, uh, Bitcoin or these big cap uh, uh, cryptocurrencies in order to bring the liquidity to another blockchain, right? So uh, obviously, uh, Novos is also planning to do the same. Uh, interoperability in the blockchain ecosystem has been highlighted as paramount to its future evolution and as such, we are working uh, to imp to open your universal passport to to the blockchain. So again, just like many um, uh, many current projects, uh, 
uh, Nervous Network also aims to be this interoperable blockchain that will help connect with multiple other blockchains. Now, more than ever, the work that has been done in the blockchain ecosystem needs to be harnessed and made wholly accessible to the builders, creators, and users of this new technological re revolution. So obviously, they are, they are uh, stating more emphasis on the interoperability part. Nova CKB is the only proof of work uh, multi-asset and store of value, general purpose blockchain for the new crypto economy. Uh, check out our positioning paper, which is, which is a different way of saying their white paper, crypto economic paper and uh, Nova CKB uh, white paper. So their actual white paper itself. Uh, <clears throat> so again, they, if you go to their website to get more information, you can clearly see that they are uh, trying to uh, uh, try to explain what their project does in general, right? Uh, this is something that uh, many projects don't explain what their project does in their own website. But I believe that Novos has done a good job explaining what their, what their project is all about, what kind of specific problem that they're trying to resolve uh, with this network, right? So they, they're talking about Bitcoin and Ethereum and then how, uh, you know, what kind of issues they, those two blockchains have and what kind of, uh, you know, how Nervous Network tries to address those issues, right? The Nervous Network is a public public blockchain ecosystem and collection of protocols solving the biggest challenges facing blockchains like Bitcoin and Ethereum today. The Novo CKB common knowledge base is the layer one proof of work public blockchain protocol of the Novo uh, Network. It allows any crypto asset to be stored with the security, immutability and permissionless nature of Bitcoin while enabling smart contracts layer to scaling and captures the total network value through the store of value um, crypto economy design and native token, the CK byte. So the CK byte is basically CKB. And if you notice that they have, uh, they have bolded the words, any crypto asset. So they're really trying to stress the fact that, uh, you know, uh, no CKB is basically a proof of work system which is similar to Bitcoin, but it's just better than Bitcoin because it has this, uh, uh, you know, unique uh, uh, way where it it allows for the security of uh, in, uh, the security and immutability of Bitcoin, uh, and it also tries to build on a second layer smart contract permissionless, uh, you know, uh, interoperable network similar to you know uh, similar to how Ethereum works, but you know, uh, obviously not the interoperability part. But uh, yeah, they're just trying to combine the best of Bitcoin and Ethereum uh, into one blockchain, right? So again, they have gone uh, in detail about uh, their their own explanation about what common knowledge base is. Um, and again, uh, to, to summarize, a sustainable multi-asset and store of value blockchain, um, maximally secure, permissionless and censorship resistant, which is something that most blockchains do, solves the biggest challenge facing blockchains today. Again, that's something that many blockchains, many blockchain projects uh, try to claim that they solve the biggest problem uh, that Ethereum and Bitcoin can't uh, solve. Um, a layer one specifically built for layer two scaling solutions. Again, uh, that's something which is very convenient. Native token CK Byte aligns the interests of all network users. Again, uh, it's pretty common for many projects to claim this for their own projects. Uh, built for developers and native smart contract capability. So again, um, they, they just want to uh, build, build a smart contract ecosystem which is interoperable uh, and obviously, you know, uh, I believe that it's going to be a fa fast transaction and, you know, very low fees. Uh, so all those uh, stuff that uh, Ethereum is lagging behind, right? Uh, the Novo CK Byte, I don't want to go too much in detail, but um, obviously you can clearly see that uh, uh, by holding um, CK Byte, you are uh, you're obviously being uh, a part of this part of the Novos network, and they have uh, they have mentioned more about uh, what their Novos DAO is and how uh, you know CK Byte uh, provides value to this network. Um, and again, I'm I'm just going to skip a lot of these. If you can see, they have a pretty good pictorial representation of what they try to do because. Uh, most of the blockchains, uh, most of the blockchain projects that claim to be interoperable, uh, you know, either take longer than usual to kind of like develop or uh, even if they do, uh, you know, have interoperable capabilities, they don't really have a lot of, uh, you know, interactions 
uh, or you know a lot of partnerships with other blo- other other blockchain companies that they're not really well known right so uh, and also many of them don't do a lot of uh, you know uh, a lot of hard work in trying to present what they are in their website but i believe that novos has uh, has been one of the few uh, blockchain projects which has taken a lot of time to work on their graphical design for the website and try to explain in detail what uh, they plan to do again you can clearly see some of the uh, some of the points that i mentioned you know free free transactions at lightning speed so that is pretty cool because it seems like they don't have any transaction fees at all in their blockchain if you if you participate unlimited uh, scalability and uh, applications efficiency and scale while retaining security flexibility for novel blockchain applications so yeah again pretty standard stuff um, i would encourage any any of you guys to go to their website novos.org and try to you know understand the project if you guys are really interested in it they have tons and tons of information on their website which in a way is overwhelming if you are not really familiar with uh, what a blockchain is or what cryptocurrency in general is and what kind of problems ethereum and bitcoin networks face but if you are uh, into some good reading i suggest you to go to their website right so um, i'm going to move to the coin market cap page for novos network so again since it was uh, listed today on binance um, you would typically expect the price to like you know skyrocket right but uh, as as i mentioned before in my other videos binance is doing a pretty good job uh, in trying to prevent uh, you know um, you know intentional pump and dump schemes on their website uh, on their on their platform so therefore they they are kind of uh, listing all these tokens that n- none of us or many of you guys might have not heard of Uh, there may be a few people who are uh, you know uh, pretty deep into crypto who probably may have heard about this token before or probably didn't uh, did a, sm- a small investment before but they they came out of the investment uh, but this is um, a common theme that you can find with binance where they list tokens which are which are some which are unpredictable right um, so b- because of that you you are not really seeing <clears throat> uh, this kind of pump and dump that you would see uh in the, in the past on binance or on any typical coin based listing right um uh, so if you see this token is currently ranked 113th uh, on coin market cap based on the market cap uh, capitalization uh the current price of ckb is less than a cent it is basically uh, half of a cent so uh, 0.5 uh, you know it, it's actually 0.005 uh, cent uh, or 0.005 dollars which is a pretty pretty low low price for a project which aims to be um, you know highly interoperable and you know tries to solve uh, problems from two big blockchains right bitcoin and ethereum uh, it has also surprisingly uh, gone down 2.71% although 2.71% means nothing in the crypto markets it is something which is quite surprising if you see uh, the track record of projects that have performed well on the first day of their listing on binance right so again you can clearly see that the market uh, cap of this um, of this project uh, or this token is 143 million dollars which is very low compa- compared to many other uh, projects that were listed on binance um the one thing that mainly concerns me is the total supply right again you can clearly see that uh, the total supply is uh, 30.6 billion uh, tokens uh, and the circulating supply is currently uh, 23.7 billion tokens so there's this huge flooding of tokens which explains the price um, because if you see um, the factor is not a lot of people know about this token right and the thing is even if uh, this token aims to or it it does indeed solve by, uh, the pro- problem that bitcoin and ethereum has um, the the fact is people uh, you know at least people like me who who really look into the 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 scarcity portion of uh, things uh, won't really feel comfortable investing in something which has a very high um, supply and the current circulating supply is is also you know pretty high it's almost like you know uh, close to uh, it's going to it's going to be pretty, pretty close to 20 24 uh, uh, billion uh, ckb token circulations pretty soon right um although i don't really know the full tokenomics of this token and how uh, the new tokens are released i believe 
uh, the new tokens are released based on the stake as a staking reward so these are inflationary token rewards that are given to people who stake ckb token on the nervous network so again you are already having a coin which is uh, uh, less than a cent in price with very low market cap and by giving giving out more and more staking rewards of the same token which is further diluting the supply uh, i believe that uh, this is uh, it's going to be very hard for this token to kind of uh, you know reach uh, $1 mark or you know even even 75 cents that that kind of range right so i'm i'm not really particularly interested in in this tokens uh, you know total supply and it's the model by which uh, uh, they they have increased the circulating supply which is basically providing inflationary staking rewards um i do like staking rewards don't get me wrong but i would like to see some strong tokenomics before uh, any form of staking rewards right so that's something that i personally don't feel comfortable uh, about this token so if you look at the charts again you can clearly see something else which is concerning as well right uh, you can see that uh, uh, like uh, in the early stages where uh, it was uh, it was the that data is available for which is basically in november 2019 um, you can clearly see that the token was almost at its all time high um, and then it kind of shot up and and you know it it was it reached uh, you know uh, 0.008 dollars and then it started declining there is also some peaks which suggest price manipulation because if you see the the volume was um, was pretty low right so you can clearly see that, that there's some kind of this pumping action going on uh, especially uh, e- like immediately after this drop right and this token was was uh, again relatively is relatively new uh, so these kind of high huge spikes uh, may only be explained by potential pumps but i may i may be wrong on that right but if you also see after this pump on uh, february 2020 you can clearly see that uh, after uh, on Ma- uh, during the march uh, covid pandemic uh, uh, you know uh, uh, entering the western world you can clearly see that the price dumped crazy and uh, people who were uh, fortunate enough to buy the token at that price would have made some pretty decent gains uh in uh, in uh, in august or september uh, august early uh, mid mid to early august right in that range they would have made some serious gains just like any project that you would have invested at the time and again it also had this steep decline after that and it reached its all time lows uh, on november uh, before slightly you know increasing in price and now it's continuously uh, you know uh, reached reached this stability point right Uh, i believe that there will be even more pumps um, happening but it's surprising that uh, binance, the binance listing has not really caused any form of significant pump that you would usually see right um so yeah that is quite interesting you can clearly see that um, if you are planning to buy this token with bitcoin it's uh, practically free right now and it's it's at all time lows again um i i would like to see some more uh, you know use cases for this token and some working mainnet launch or something like that you know which which would make me feel more comf- uh, confident in investing in this project if i do have some spare bitcoins to invest right but uh, if you guys feel like uh, this project has a huge potential um, and you feel like you have some spare satoshis lying around to buy this token this is the best time to buy this token because you can clearly see that with big uh, with regards to bitcoin comparative the token is less than uh, you know less than i believe it's uh, 100 satoshis right which is a pretty pretty decent uh, uh, pretty decent discount and with dollar value you can you can see that uh, the token has uh, depreciated so um, you can at least expect it to pump to levels where it was previously uh, an all time high so you could probably maybe uh, you know get your get your money to uh, you know um, at least uh, go 50 to you know 50 to 60% uh, and and make a 60% profit but um, again i i wouldn't put my money on this because i don't really feel comfortable with the with the tokenomics of this token right so looking at the the markets where it's available 
Again, obviously it's available in Binance because Binance just listed it today. You can also get it from KuCoin and Gate.io and you can also get it in BitMEX. But uh, yeah, pretty much uh, that's, that's almost all the decent exchanges. You can also get it on BitThumb, which is a Korean exchange, but uh, you can't really find it uh, anywhere else. Um, you can't even find it on Uniswap. Usually projects like these uh, try to you know, have an ERC20 to- version of their token so that they can get some leverage from, uh, from, it- from the Ethereum ecosystem. But it seems like Novos uh, does not have a, a, a listing in Uniswap, but it is of course listed on Binance, right? So again, um, my final verdict, um, would I buy this token? I would not buy this token. Um, would I recommend this token to people? Again, it depends on wh- what you're looking for in your token, right? Uh, I uh, would like to invest uh, at least short term to, to long term kind of an investor. And I would not really feel comfortable, um, firstly, with the total and circulating supply, right? Uh, again, for a project that aims to um, be the best of uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum, the price point is uh, really surprisingly low, right? You would at least expect this price to be, uh, you know, somewhere in um, a few dollars to a few, you know, double digit range at least, right? But uh, you're clearly seeing that the price has not had any action in the past 24 hours, even after Binance listing, right? So I don't really feel comfortable with this token. So I wouldn't really recommend it to anyone. But again, uh, if you, like I'm, this is not financial advice. If you guys want to do your own research and invest in this token, uh, feel free to uh, do that. But at the same time, um, I would probably suggest doing some in-depth research on what kind of working project do they have uh, before putting any, any of uh, your money into this. If you have some play money, maybe like 100 bucks or something like that, that you want to play with and test test this project with, you can kind of use it. Uh, and if you have some spare Satoshis, uh, as we discussed, it, this is probably the best time for you to invest if you, if you do want to invest in this project, right? Because it's at all time lows and you can get it for a pretty good price. And if you see for Bitcoin comparative, uh, it did reach, uh, a, you know, uh, a few bumps not peaks maybe bumps but uh, it has never really done any significant uh, you know um, upward trend for uh, for btc comparison but for with regards to dollar terms you can see that uh, there are some pumps and dumps and you know you can if you probably wait it will probably dump even further and you can get it for an even more uh, better price than what it is right now but uh, yeah i would not recommend this token I don't feel comfortable uh, investing in this token myself, but if you guys want to do your own research and invest in this, feel free to do so. Uh, Remember guys, you guys are not regular investors, you guys are brutal investors, so stay brutal. Thank you very much for watching my video guys. If you like my video, please click the like button and subscribe for more videos. See you in my next video. Bye.